All right, <sighs> morning, y'all. Um, well, I want to show y'all something that happened um yesterday. Uh, you to a piece to something. Uh, I know. Uh, so you right here it is. On a bush hog more, you know something. On a bush hog more, you know something different. Yes, yeah, yes. You know something different here. Well, the PTO shaft is gone. Um, it broke. Uh, uh, well, I don't know what he was doing with it when he mowed with it, but uh, it broke, and he came back, and I was with the, uh, me and my dad were with a uh, DeKalb uh, rep, and we were out scouting. Uh, we was out scouting cornfields, looking at corn. We was out, it was a DeKalb as grow rep. We was out scouting cornfield and bean field, looking at crops and uh, looking at corn. And he was mowing, and he came back, and the, the PTO shaft broke. And he broke the PTO shaft all the way, he broke it in two. The only thing is left intact is where it hooks up to the tractor PTO. Where it hooks up to the tractor. Um, and it broke. Uh, so it broke, one, it broke uh, the hole that goes right there, and this one, it broke. To right, the one that raises this wing up and down, it broke. So, uh, now this is yes this is yesterday afternoon. Right now it's about seven twenty, seven thirty, something like that. And uh, he took to, he went he went to off to town to get a uh, he went off to town to get a uh, new uh, hose for this. And we took and we went, and I called our local uh, our case dealers who also deals with bush hogs, called him and we and he came and got the. Uh, he came and got the shaft to find his new shaft. It only needs part of a shaft. It don't need the whole shaft. It just needs a half of the shaft. He took the whole thing with him so he can find the right piece. Um, off we did that. We also got the plants planter hooked yesterday. Uh, this planter is probably going to be gone because we've had a lot of trouble with it. Um, um, so y'all may y'all probably won't be see us use this planter again. It may stay here for a while, but it won't be. Uh, we won't be using it next year to plant with. More than likely. More than likely, we won't be using this planter plant with next year. Um, this planter here is a Kenji. It's a 2015 model, I believe it is, 3600. Um, it's got better, it's been converted kind of to 3660, um, which I don't know. It's all right. It's, it's, it's all right planter, but um, we might be getting rid of this. Um, but it's got... Uh, Oh man, ten, like twelve, thirteen thousand acres on it now. Um, but it's been it's been redone every it it's been redone every year since uh well it's been gone it goes through every year since we've had it they go through the Kenji dealership and gets inspected. Um, uh, but yeah, we clean this up here. Uh, we right here, put it right here just so we can uh, just so like people can come just so they can come look at it and come look at it and. Um, we're not we're not looking get we're not looking at getting another Kenji. Um, we're looking at either a deer seventeen ninety five uh, or a case twenty one. I think what is it twenty one fifty or something. I don't know what the number. Is. I forgot the number on that one. That was the two we're looking at. Uh, so uh, we'll see here. But it's got road clearance on the front units and the back units. That's what, that's what these are right here is all cleaners um that's really kind of you know about it but uh it's, it's got it's got all it's got automatic clutches on all the roads which you know we want so on the next planter and well cleaned on the next planter um well markers um fertilizer tanks uh that stuff be, that stuff becomes that stuff becoming new on the other planter um standard on the other planter um that was the aftermarket add-on that if y'all remember we had on this winter that we had on this window this planter um it worked it worked all right i mean it wasn't the best um <coughs> um and we don't know if we're gonna keep doing in-roll fertilizer start a fertilizer but but we want to plan a capable order the planter capable of doing it um we haven't uh you know we haven't shelled the corn yet we put down the start of fertilizer so with the beans, we did some on the beans too. Um, so we won't know when, uh, we won't know how, how they good they do until, uh, until, uh, we, uh, harvest. What you're harvesting right now, you can't tell any difference on any of it. 
So it might have been with a poop. Maybe with nothing. Uh, this tractor was on the planner. Uh, it's just sitting here for right this moment. Uh, we're gonna power. We gotta uh, power wash this tractor at some time, at some point in time. But uh, that is just kind of a quick video of what is going on uh, today. Um, everything uh, we got done spraying uh, yesterday. We got all the uh, we, there's a sprayer right there. We got all the beans sprayed over for the second time yesterday on the double crop beans. Um, so that's good. Um, crops look good. There's this single crop. This one's just some single crop beans right there. And there's the there's the wheat beans over there. You can't tell it's a wheat field, but they cut up, they cut up the straw. Well, I'm, I don't want to be able to be rambling on, rambling on, and all we got to clean the combine out. It's up to and, and, and uh, we got to clean the combine out. Uh, because the combine has a, I didn't tell you all this, but the combine has a sensor going out, uh, a temperature sensor going out, and uh, so they got to come fix that. Uh, it went on. It went on the last day of wheat harvest. It went out on the last day of wheat harvest. We had like 15 acres, 20 acres left. So we was like, you know, deal with it. Um, so they got to fix that. Uh, not a, just a five minute job. Just plugs in. Oh well. So we gotta get that out and get that fixed and. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of, this is coming kind of an update video. So I will talk to you guys. I will talk to you all later. Have a good day.